On-demand storm tracker forecast time, Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd tracking MDT cameras. Homestake Pass is deal, still dealing with snow and some blowing snow. Same for Bozeman Pass. Looks like it's impossible to travel north of Butte. Elk Park Pass just has considerable snow, blowing snow, and almost zero visibility this afternoon. Boulder Hill doing a little bit better right now. Georgetown Lake's been dealing with a lot of snow and blowing snow. There's been a lot of road closures and accidents around Anaconda, Deer Lodge, back towards the Warm Springs area, and that's ongoing. McDonald Pass still has quite a bit of snow and blowing snow. A little break over Reynolds Pass right now at uh, 12.46 p.m. West Yellowstone's been dealing with some snow. Looks like a little break for uh, Lookout Pass, but this pass is scheduled to get several feet of snow Thursday into Friday. Blowing and drifting over Norse Hill, that's pretty common this time of the year. Uh, looks like Karst uh, down uh, south of Bozeman heading to Big Sky doing okay. You got some snow and some blowing snow around Livingston and as well as Big Hole Pass and Manida dealing with snow and blowing snow. There are some bare spots there, but again, its visibility is the biggest issue. Temperatures are well below zero east of the divide, but even reaching Dillon this afternoon. And compared to this time yesterday, we're running about 15 to 30 degrees cooler, but wind chills biting wind chills locally anywhere from 5 to 25 below zero central eastern areas of montana have the extreme cold wind chills and there are highlights out for tonight into tomorrow morning here comes a completely different pattern change this is a warm front cold front combo this next storm event is going to bring some heavy wet dense snow and with the cold air at place and the cold surface temperatures, we're expecting some extremely snow-packed and icy roads to develop as we go through the day for tomorrow. So we got a slight break in the action this afternoon, although advisories are ongoing through tomorrow. Some of these are going to get upgraded to winter storm warnings. A winter storm watch will get upgraded to a warning later today for far western Montana. Warnings already issued for much of Washington and northern Idaho as we head into this evening into tomorrow morning. There are some flood highlights and again these have been ongoing due to ice jams around Three Forks and Logan and down into the Ennis area. Snow. Let's take a look at our snowfall forecast model comparisons. Uh, we have several models here. Some are global, some are higher resolution. Most of them are coming in around six to eight inches of new snow for the West Yellowstone area beginning at midnight tonight through noon on Friday. There could be more snow for West Yellowstone Friday night into Saturday morning. Dylan, I think two to four inches are possible. That may not sound like an impressive amount of snow, but again, keep in mind this next snow event is going to have a lot of moisture. And even if it's a half an inch to an inch, it's going to create some very icy roads across the entire region. Snow could be heavy at times in Butte, around 46 inches of new snow between Thursday into Friday. And I think Bozeman, we're in that two to four range. I think there could be some bands around that could kick those numbers up, but plan on around two to four, but there could be as much as four to six or up to eight inches of snow as we look in the next 24, 48 to 72 hours. A lot of this will be gone by the weekend, but it's a pattern change. So we got the cold air, and increasing snow by tomorrow morning. This is a warm front driving through the area tomorrow morning. And look at the heavy snow across western Montana into central Idaho, building between Butte and Bozeman and down towards Dillon. It's going to be a horrible morning commute across the entire region, but it still continues for many areas tomorrow afternoon. And then a slight little break, and then here comes a cold front Friday morning. This will bring colder temperatures, gusty winds, and more scattered snow showers with some banding throughout the day on Friday. So this snowfall forecast is showing, again, about 1 to 2, 2 to 4 inches by early tomorrow morning. Big impact on the morning commute because it doesn't matter if it's an inch or two. That may not sound very impressive to you, but again, it's the moisture content. It's going to be wet, dense snow on top of a very cold road surface and it's going to pack and it's going to be extremely icy. Then it continues for most of the afternoon, especially west of the Continental Divide, but even into Friday, there's going to be additional bands of mountain snow. And then by Saturday morning, we're looking at around 8 to 12 inches around Anaconda, a foot plus around West Yellowstone, 1 to 2 feet around Cook City. Many valleys could be in that 2 to 4, 4 to 6 inch range. And if banding occurs, there could be even more uh, impressive snow totals in some areas. So again, some extremely hazardous travel will be setting up across the entire region. Butte breaking the pattern by the weekend, slightly milder next week. For Bozeman, 
more snow and difficult if not dangerous travel conditions Thursday into Friday even a few snow showers Saturday but a much quieter pattern for next week now let's take it down to Dillon snow chances are pretty high as we go through the day tomorrow a few snowflakes on Friday colder by the weekend but drier as you head into next week and West Yellowstone pretty impressive for snow for your Thursday and Friday but next week should be a calmer quieter pattern and milder highs but colder lows